as well tell you, it's also been a challenge and a half working uh, with the issues that we worked with. Um, so on behalf of my team, it's, it's an absolute pleasure to welcome you all here today. We have a full program, and so I don't want to take up too much time. And without any further ado, I would like to invite onto stage our country director, Amir Ramzan. Amir is an exceptional, accomplished leader with about 20 years of experience in all aspects of organizational leadership. He has served as a three-time country director for the British Council and has contributed to help grow multi-million pound English and exams operations in the Middle East, Sub-Saharan Africa, and South Asia as well. Could we please have a huge round of applause for Amir? Thank you, Isa. Asalaamu Alaikum, everyone. Guests, colleagues, and friends, I would also like to welcome you to the launch of Pakistan, the Next Generation Report 2023. Um, really pleased that you'll all be able to manage to get through the traffic and make it in today. I would like to give a special welcome to our chief guests. We have with us the Honorable Minister of State and Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on SDGs, Ms. Rumina Khurshid Alam, and we also have with us the Acting British High Commissioner, Andrew Dalglish. So thank you both very much for joining us today. And um, later on for the closing event, we will be joined by the Honourable Minister for Planning, Professor Ahsan Iqbal. So as, as I just described, the British Council Next Generation Programme is a research series that seeks to understand youth attitudes, their views, their aspirations, with the aim to amplify the youth voice and to support policy making. Youth are at the heart of what the British Council does. As the UK's leading organization for education and cultural relations, we seek to build trust, understanding, and connections between the people of the UK and the countries we work in. And we do this through English, education and arts with a very, very strong focus on youth. We seek to support youth get the skills, confidence, um, education that they need to reach their aspirations. We therefore believe it's very important to listen to and engage with young people as they will become the next generation of influencers, leaders and shapers of their countries. This is all the more important in a country like Pakistan which has such a large young youth demographic. The British Council has conducted next generation research um, reports in over 20 countries. We've engaged over 48,000 youth and produced more than 21 reports. But I'm really pleased to announce and to share that the first ever next generation report, which was produced by the British Council, was here in Pakistan in 2009. And this report sparked a much needed debate on how Pakistan could transform itself to harness the potential of its young people. We then produced two more reports in 2013 and 2014 in Pakistan. So this, the 2023 report aimed to re aims to recognize and understand what's happened to youth voice and youth opinions over the past 10 years, what stayed the same, what's changed, um, and also seeks to understand what the impact of the pandemic has been on youth perceptions and, and, and their views. In addition to the pandemic, um, Pakistan unfortunately suffered from its worst ever floods in 2022, which as you all know, um, left 33 million people displaced and a third of the country underwater. And again, this impacted on the research findings and came through um, in terms of some of the things that the youth were saying. However, despite a 13-year gap from the first report in 2009, the 2023 report reflects many of the same challenges and frustrations for young Pakistanis. Economic problems, particularly around employment, remain a key concern as does lack of political participation and an education system that does not, meet the needs of the, does not meet the needs of the youth. However, new challenges and opportunities have emerged, including climate change and the rise of social media, which are now shaping youth engagement and priorities in new ways. We are hopeful that this research report will benefit Pakistani policymakers 
um, international partners, academia, civil society, and media, but most importantly, young people themselves. Um, we hope that this research will help shape the policy response in, 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 in correspondence to what the youth in Pakistan are saying. I would like to thank our research partners, Ipsos, um, for their fantastic, Ipsos Pakistan, for their fantastic efforts. Um, despite the challenges faced, um, we face by the pandemic and the floods and in completing this research in a timely manner. I would also like to extend our sincere gratitude to Dr. Oscar Zaidi, Vice Chancellor of Government College Lahore, for helping us reach students from public universities from across Pakistan. And I would also like to make a special mention to our task force. Um, we assembled a task force of leading um, experts in their fields, influencers to help and guide us through this process and to provide challenge where appropriate and their contribution was invaluable and we wouldn't have been able to produce this report without them so a huge thanks to the task force and finally of course I would like to thank my British Council team I won't mention them by name because I will miss someone out and then get into trouble but uh, you all know who you are the non-formal education team the research evaluation monitoring unit and our communications teams and everyone else who's been involved thank you for all your work on this the British Council is committed to embedding the report findings in our programs and office for young people I look forward to the discussions today and hope that the report launched today will provide further insights and ideas to all of us gathered here to create an enabling environment for the young people of Pakistan thank you very much